Alright guys, it's me back again, and I think the way that I'm going to start doing these is I'm going to upload once a day, and throughout the day I'm just going to film uh, what I've been doing, uh, like what I'm working on, and then at the end of the day I'll conclude on what I worked on, compile that onto like a short video. So right now I'm currently working on Notepad. So we have a little pop-up down here. And then we have a keyboard that I'm working on. I'll let you know once I get that done. Okay, so this is the first time testing the new keyboard. We go into Notepad and hit Yes. It should look perfect. I didn't look at it yet. I had to do it all with those numbers. So, um, put a focus here. I think that was actually pretty good for just doing that without looking. Um, it needs a lot of fixing. I think I'm just going to make the space bar go to here. Then I just got to fix those. So I'll update you when I'm done with that and then I'll let you know what I'm going to do next. Okay guys, we're going to give it another test here. I just fixed up the code a little bit. Um, yes, almost. I just gotta shift those over a little bit and delete that one. Now the hard part is um, I have to decide whether I'm gonna keep this centered in the screen or I'm gonna move it down to the bottom. I actually like to set. I might move it down like just to to like almost to the bottom, like one key space away from the bottom, um, just so your finger has enough room, or maybe just I don't know. I'll figure that out then. And then I have to program all the touches which is going to be hard and to do that um, I'll just open up the debug window get a notepad and then just use my finger to touch and write down each if statement on paper and then just put that and then I have to make two more keyboards for numbers and emoji stuff so yeah I'll let you know when I progress again okay, guys new update um, when I click, if I have the debug window open, because the notepad opens up here. When, about that, guys. As I was saying, since the debug window is up here, notepad window should be up here. So when I click on notepad, it should close that out, open up a notepad window. And, oh boy. So now the keyboard disappears and this is all messed up. Uh, let's see what I can do about that. So guys, it's the next morning. Um, I'm actually really tired. Um, I'm gonna, I have to upload this video before I go to work, so I guess we're just going to leave it at this. I did do touch controls, but they're not working and I don't get it. Here's what I said. I said if the touch is inside the box which I know how to do then I set two variables notepad X and notepad Y Y is at 5 X is at 21 which is right there and then every time you click on that it should print the character on those two coordinates and then add one to X and I'm not getting any output uh, maybe if I show you my if statements that'll help maybe you guys can help me I don't know um, I'll show you that actually once again guys, I apologize for sounding so tired. So for Q I said if the touch is greater than 5, greater than 45 for Y, less than 31 for X, and less than 74 for Y. Then set the console to the top screen, print F, those are the two coordinates, the percent %I, and then those are the actual variables for it. And Y is set to 5, X is set to 21, and then at the end, notepad X equals notepad X plus 1. I don't know what's going on. Maybe you guys can help me. Maybe making these videos does help because I, th I thought of a solution just while recording that last segment. If it doesn't work, then I'm going to end this video for today. So, yeah, it's hard. To, I'm looking at the camera now. Okay, it's moment of truth. Damn. As I was saying, this is the fun of programming. 
is never knowing when it's going to work and there's no tutorials online to really help me out here uh, it's all all for me so I want to thank you guys for watching thank you for your help if you guys are going to help me um, and I'll let you know if I get this keyboard working by the next video peace out